Hey guys, GR Collects here, and welcome back to another YouTube video of collecting. In today's YouTube video, we are going to be going over uh, some typewriter, like the, the different parts of a typewriter. Um, so, the last video I went over what is a typewriter, um, why they existed, uh, how long they've existed for, um, and all that sorts of jazz. So, if you want to go and check that video out. Uh, there will be a link in the description for it. And also, um, if you want to go out and check my other YouTube channel, which has a lot more subscribers and a lot more views and stuff like that, um, that'll be GR Collects, um, not GR Collects, that'll be GR Coins, and that's where I basically go through um, a ton of coins, look through a ton of coins, um, and collect a ton of coins. Um, so yeah. Um, in this video, we are going to be going over the different parts of a typewriter. Um, and so, we're, the first thing we're going to talk about is the keys. Uh, where are the keys located? They're obviously located right here. These are the keys. Um, and, uh, and now we're going to go over the different types of stuff on the keyboard, or on the key face. Um, so let's bring you guys a little closer here and angle you guys down. Alright, so it's not very good lighting, but so these are the keys of a typewriter. Um, so first of all, we have the keys labeled uh, from actually, if we if I take you guys up, you can see that it actually goes from two to zero and the keys are from A to Z and with all the necessary uh, things on it. Um, so another thing on the keys we have the space bar which can be right here. This is the space bar um, and what this does is it, it what in its name is it moves the, the, the carriage um, getting ahead of myself here uh, this is the carriage up here, this entire piece. Um, the piece that moves, as you guys can see, is moving right now. Um, that entire piece, um, if I can show you guys better here, yeah, yeah, that's the carriage. Um, so that moves the carriage one click, one, one space. Um, and it is not a double click system. Uh, and I'll go over that in another video. Um, so next we have the shift keys, obviously what you can expect, they are, um, they're actually blank keys right here and right over here, uh, on the keyboard and they shift. And then right after the shift key, we have the shift lock and this one does not have a left shift lock button also known as the caps lock um, on newer keyboards. And that is this green button right here. It actually does say, um, if we come in close, it does say shift lock. Um, and that, we press that and it keeps this down. Now to get it back up, you cannot actually go here and repress the shift button. You have to go all the way over to the left side of the keyboard and click that down. And then that will bring that back up. And then when I bring my finger up on that one, it'll bring the entire key up. Um, next thing is we have the backspace key, which is another green key located on the left side of the machine. Um, this right over here is the, is the backspacer. It says backspacer, uh, as you guys can see there, and that just backspaces the carriage. Next, we have the, the margin, um, the margin release key, uh, and that will be on the right side, moving back and forth, that'll be on the right side of the machine. Um, also a green key, and it says margin release, as you guys can see right there. Margin release, um, and that just releases the margin um, on the left side of the machine. And then we have the right uh, side margin release and that is going to be all the way up here on the carriage um, and that is for if you want to go past th 
this margin, and the margins are right here. You set them on the very front of the machine. Uh, some machines are not like this, and they are very different uh, typewriters as you go through the different types of typewriters. But it is actually going to be located right here, and we press down on that, and then we can move the carriage past that margin. All right, moving on on the keyboard, uh, we have the tab clear key which is the, the tabular keys are going to be right here. Um, and it's, it's uh, dark. It was brighter in here a couple seconds ago. I don't know what happened. But yeah, here we have the tab stop or the tab tab clear. Tab stop clear. Um, so just press that and that clears the tabs, which are the tabs are located on the back side of the machine. Uh, we have the the tab bar and that just sets the tab um, that will actually make the tab actually go um, and then we have the tab set which is right here um, this is the tab set and that will set clear tab uh, moving on uh, we have the ribbon reverse uh, where's the ribbon the ribbon reverse is going to be on the right side. Let me actually move the machine here. Let me get up and move it. So we can see this is a huge, um, heavy machine. So this is the ribbon reverse right here. And it is um, a lever that you can pull and push just like that. As you can see, it is pulling and pushing. And uh, to actually reverse the ribbon or bring it back, you can actually wind, it, wind the ribbon up on one spool push it in and then you can keep winding it just like that it is pretty fun um, so let me move the machine back here really quick and then we can take a look at the rest of the features um, so after the all that the ribbon reverse the carriage return and line space lever. Um, so again, this is gonna be very, very different on a lot of machines. So let's bring the camera up again. Um, so this lever right here is uh, the uh, carriage return lever or the line space lever. They do, they do both. Um, so moving you guys up to the top of the machine, um, it is very, very short. It doesn't have a lot of room, as you will see on other typewriters that I will be showcasing in, on this YouTube channel. Um, it will change uh, through typewriters very, very severely. Um, but yeah, this is that. And as you guys can see, um, watch that piece right there. I will be going over that. I'm not sure if you guys could see that but it is moving as I click that. Um, so moving on, we have the, uh, the snap off. Um, now again, these do not come with every single typewriter. Um, the, some typewriters don't even have snap offs. Um, now this could come in a very different variety. There could be a snap on off top, so the entire top, but this is not capable of that. The entire top of the machine will snap off um, so you guys can have a look inside of the machine or in the case of this machine which is actually a lot more rare than you will find in any, in any other machines is the front will actually pop off right here and give you full view of the inside of the machine um, now most of this stuff will be coming later um, as in what is inside of the machine I won't be saying a lot of what is inside of the machine because most of it is just mechanical um, pulley systems and, and gears and all sorts of springs and stuff. Um, again, we will not be going over the entire inside of the machine. Uh, as I'm putting this back here, um, let's see, actually, there we go. Sometimes, sometimes that's a pain in the butt. I didn't even know that was there until a little bit later um, that I had bought this. Um, so na next we have the platinum knobs. Uh, the platinum knobs are 
knobs that you will find here. Right here, this right here, this black um, knob is the platinum knob. Um, now that can move as you guys um, may have already thought, but that is a moving knob, this piece right here. And that is the right platinum knob to bring you guys over here. This is the left platinum knob right here, and it looks a little different, and I will be going over that um, here shortly. Next, we have the variable line spacer. So bringing you guys back, let me just twist this machine a little bit more. There is a lot of looking all around the machine, looking at different things um, and features. So there will be a lot of moving of the machine. So looking back, the platinum knob here, um, we have the variable line spacer which is right here. This is the variable line spacer. Um, this can pull out and pull back in. And basically what this does is, do you guys hear that? Yes, there is clicking. And so that clicking is the line spacing. So if you pull this out, it will stop the clicking and just be able to move freely. Pull it back in. And there we go. Um, Next, we have the line space regulator. So that is something that is at the top of the machine right here. And that is, it's, it's very faded on this machine. But if we zoom in a little closer here, it's going to be the one, two, three. Uh, this is the lever that you um, can push and pull. So the one is actually right here, it is very faded. Uh, you guys cannot see it on camera. The two is right here and the three is right there. Um, and that is actually the line spacing. Um, and moving on, we have the carriage release lever, left and right. Um, so the left carriage release lever is right over here right here this is the left carriage release lever um, what this does is it clears the carriage of of the clicking so that will be able to move it uh, freely left and right and the right one is actually a different lever moving the machine again right around like that um, it is at the top right here in my shadow um, so that is at the top right here, and that is going to be this right here. That that button or that lever is the carriage release lever on the left or on the right. Sorry. Um, moving on. Uh, let's see. We just went over the carriage release levers. Uh, then we have the reattach. Um, the okay, the ratchet. Uh, so we have the ratchet um, release lever and detent um, lever, ratchet detent or release lever. Um, I like to call it the release lever. Uh, the release lever, let's see, uh, the release lever is going to be right over here and it is going to be an actual lever that you pull up like that. So when it's down, you can hear it clicking. Um, and then I push it up, and then it moves freely. All right, um, moving on, we have the adjustable paper slide guide. Um, and that is also going to be at the top of the machine. Right over here, this is the paper slide guide. So that will just guide your paper as you as you guys are typing, and that basically um, makes it so if you guys have bigger papers, it will be slided more to the left. If you have smaller papers, slide it more to the right. Um, then we have the paper centering scale, um, and that is going to be on the top as well and that's just going to be these um, the levers right there or the the numbers um, 0 1 2 3 4 4 3 2 1 0 
just right there. Um, next, uh, we have the card holder. And that's going to be number 20. Um, so this, the card holder is hard to see. It is inside, but that is these triangle things right here. And you just push those out uh, to put a card in there. Push them back in to hold the cards as you type on cards. So that would be like, um, like little, like the little cards, you know. Um, next we have the aligning scale. Um, and that is also going to be down here at the bottom. Uh, again, very, very hard to see. Try to zoom in here. It, it is these little text right here, these ones um, that are right there. So that is the aligning scale, the type guide, um, which is also going to be at the top, and this thing right here that goes kind of outwards is the type guide. So that basically when you type, that piece right there will go into the type guide. Um, uh, number, not number, uh, we're not going off numbers. So next we have the paper bale. Um, and the paper bale is right at the top here. And that is going to be this piece right here. That is the paper bale. Um, next we have the paper release lever. Um, and that is going to be on this side. This is going to be the paper release lever. Um, this kind of bigger one right here. Uh, and that, you push it and it releases the paper. So it is able to move inside of here uh, nice and freely. Um, next, did, did I go over? Okay, so this piece in here, this black rolling piece, um, is actually the called the platinum. Uh, that piece rolling inside of there is the platinum, and that is a very big piece. Kind of like the roller. Um, next, we have uh, the the paper paper release lever. We already went through the ribbon. The ribbon indicator. Um, this is going to be on the left side of the machine, labeled zero through six. Or not the ribbon indicator no this is this is the um, the the thing that um, basically it makes it so that when you're typing it, it it's harder for the keys to go down so as you guys can see I'm moving the key very freely and it's moving down we move it all the way over to six and it's a little harder now um, the type so that's if you have like bigger hands or you're more bulky and I uh, can press the keys a little bit harder oh, all right um, the next is gonna be the uh, personal the, okay so the personal touch regulator was actually on uh, the one that we just talked about that's the personal touch regulator um, the ribbon indicator though where is that at that is number Ah, the, the ribbon indicator. Um, I'm, I'm so stupid. I knew this one. Um, I don't know why I had to look back at my sheet, but this is a ribbon indicator. This makes it so that the ribbon will basically move up or down. Um, this is black and red, um, and you could have a different colored ribbon. You can have black and red. Uh, you can have all sorts of different colors mixed in there, and white basically makes it so that the ribbon cannot move up. And this little knob here makes that possible. Um, next we have the, uh, the type basket, which is, let me open this up, and this is when we are going to be talking about some of these things inside of the machine. We're not going to be talking about a lot, but this right here, uh, this entire thing right here that I'm touching all these keys, not keys, these are not keys. Um, these individual things, not keys, but what they make up 
of each other is a tight basket, and this is the tight basket. Um, and lastly, we have the type slugs, and these are the type slugs, the individual um, type uh, things right here are the type slugs um, right here that is a type slug just so you guys know um, so this typewriter is also the shift it is not a um, basket shift um, so a basket shift you would see it move up and down this is a carriage shift so the carriage will actually move up and down uh, for the shifting that is a carriage shift all right that is going to be it for this youtube video it is pretty long um, but I hope you guys enjoy um, about all this sorts of knowledge and stuff that is being poured into your brains. Um, and yeah, so enjoy this time away from school um, because of what is going on in the world right now. Um, if you are in school, obviously, uh, now if you're not in school, then you don't have to enjoy your time. Anyways. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you didn't already, please go down, comment, like, and feel free to subscribe, and also share this video on any social media via Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is an Underwood typewriter. I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, that is going to be GR Flex out.